if you are planning to migrate your emails from Google Workspace, then watch this video. I will show you how to prepare your Google account before the migration can be initiated. My name is Carlos and today I will show you the steps that you need to follow in order to get your Google Workspace account ready for migration. What I'm going to explain here applies to different migration scenarios. However, I will refer to the specific case when the migration is to Microsoft 365 and you are planning to use the IMAP migration tool which is available within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Later on this video, I will also show you what you need to do if the migration is from a free Gmail account. By the way, here in this video, I explain how to use the Microsoft 365 migration tool step by step. So these two videos provide the necessary information to complete the email migration to Microsoft 365 from Google Workspace. When you migrate emails, the migration tool need to access both mailboxes, the source and the target. In this case, the source is Google Workspace and the target Microsoft 365. Now, Google accounts have robust security measures in place to protect your data. So simple having the password isn't enough to access and copy the content that you need to migrate. So here is what you need to do on every Google Workspace account before starting the migration. Enable the IMAP protocol for the Google account. Disable the protection for less secure apps. And disable the login challenge for every account. This is a question that Google asks when the login takes place from a new device or IP address. Let's now jump to our computer and see how we can follow these steps. We will start by enabling the IMAP protocol for the Google account. To do that, we have entered our Google Workspace account. We will need to click on Settings. You will find that on the upper right corner. And then you need to click on See All Settings. You will find different sections and you need to select Forwarding and Pop slash IMAP. And then you will see a section called IMAP Settings. On the right, you will be able to enable it. In this account, it is currently disabled, so we need to click here, Enable IMAP. You will scroll down and you click on Save Changes. From now on, our Google account will be able to connect using the IMAP protocol. That includes the connection from a email app or with a migration tool that uses IMAP. Then we will continue with the step two, which is to enable the use of less secure apps, or in a different words, disabling the restriction to use those less secure apps. By default, users are not allowed to enable the less secure apps. So we need to access the Google Admin Center and we have to change the option to allow users to use this option. So let's go now and access our admin panel. As you may know, to access the admin panel, the account of the user needs to have the admin role. We will click on the nine little dots on the upper right corner. And then we look for the admin icon. We need to click on security and then overview. We need to scroll down and we will find this section here, less secure apps. We need to click on the little arrow and it will open this section. By default, this option is disabled. We can see here, disable access to less secure apps, which is recommended. And we are going to enable it to do the migration. So we will select this option, allow users to manage their access to less secure apps. Then we need to click on save. Once we save it, the users will be able to turn on the use of less secure apps. Now, to make sure that we are going to enable this option for a specific users, I recommend to open a new browser. And we will need to navigate to a specific URL. We have it here. By the way, I will leave this link in the description of the video. This is the URL. So I will copy it. 
In the browser, I will paste the URL. So far, nothing special is happening. In order to complete this step, I will need to log in. We enter the username for the account and the password. If we have two-step verification enabled for this account, we will need to approve it from our phone. We will enter the security code and click on Next. And we will find the option to allow less secure apps to be turned on or off. At this moment, in this account, it is turned off. So we will need to turn it on. It means that we are removing the restriction to use less secure apps. We will continue now with the third step, which is disabling the login challenge for the account. To complete this step, we will need to access the Google Admin Panel again. We will go back to the home page of the Admin Panel, and we need to click on Manage. We will now click on the user that we want to prepare for migration. This is the one. On the right, we will need to scroll down and find security. We can expand by clicking here on the little arrow and we need to scroll down again. We'll find this section here, Login Challenge. We can turn off Identity Question for 10 minutes. We need to click on the little pencil on the right and we have this button here. Once we click on this button, the Login Challenge will be turned off. It means that we won't be asked for any challenge questions when trying to access the account. It means that the migration tool will be able to access the account and then copy the content and move it to the target mailbox. So we click on turn off for 10 minutes and that's done. As you can imagine, this step will need to be followed just before starting the migration since this option will be disabled only for 10 minutes. You should be now ready to continue the steps to migrate your emails from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. The step 1, 2 and 3 will need to be followed for every account that you want to migrate. As I mentioned before, if you want to learn about the migration tool, here is a video that will tell you step by step what you need to do. In case you need to migrate from a Gmail account, I mean from a free Google account, you will need to do a step one. But instead of doing a step two and three, you will need to create a app password. Stay tuned because I will create a video on how to do this as well. All these steps that we have seen here also work if you are going to use other migration tools like IMAP Sync, for example. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Do you have any comments or questions? Put it here down below so all can benefit from them. If you like this video or find it useful, feel free to subscribe. Maybe consider supporting the channel by using the super thanks button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.